Mike McCool here. We're on the uh, sidewalk outside Skyline Middle School. With me is Jamie and Justin Brown, isn't it? Yes. And um, they're the ones that had their son bullied here at school, and they got their friends, and we're protesting here on the sidewalk um, this early morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you have a statement here, Justin, you want to read. You want to go ahead and do that? Yes, I'll read it. Because okay. I wrote the statement, but I'm sorry. I I have a I had had a brain bleed, so I stutter and I mess up my words a lot. So I wanted him to read it so that I don't mess any of this up. Good. Everyone deserves to go about their day without fear or worry. Will I be teased, called stupid, or retarded? Maybe I'll be pushed around or made to fall. All of these thoughts go through the mind of the bully. No one, yet alone children, should constantly have these thoughts racing through their mind. The biggest worry should be, how will they do on the next test? Sadly enough, many of the fears are all too real for the children in the building behind me and other schools across the nation. It is time to truly embrace the zero tolerance policy. Hold those accountable accountable. No more boys will be boys or kids will be kids. Call it for what it is, bullying. If the system in place is falling short, maybe it's time for a new system. Better yet, actually enforce the one you have. I'm tired of being greeted by a child who bursts into tears when I ask, how was your day? The multiple trips to the school because of a new incident that I was never informed of. Promises made yet never fulfilled, apparent to all by the ongoing issue. At the end of the day, I am my child's voice, his advocate. If I stand Thank by you. and let this continue, I have failed as a parent. There was a statement issued uh, yesterday by the school. I'm sure they, they said they were going to send it out to everyone. They sent it to us, and I know they sent it to you. Yes. Any comments on that? I think they have a lot of wonderful programs. I just think that there needs to be consequences for the actions, and I don't think there's enough follow through on that. Because my son's disabled and he left the school because he was upset over the bullying, recess tickets that he couldn't keep up with, like the mainstream kids can't, right. just things that he was having issues with. He left the building, put a backpack there in, in the door so that it couldn't lock back because he was afraid the zombie apocalypse would happen. That's the mind frame we're dealing with. And I... 25 minutes or so I was told he was outside. I'm not sure the exact time because I heard it from him and then came up there. So I just want accountability. If you're gonna have, they promised me someone within arm's reach of my child, well then how is there another physical incident if he's within arm's reach? How does he still come home with bruises sometimes that are unexplained? I am I'm just want to advocate for them. I think the school has some wonderful programs and the law enforcement has been amazing out here, especially Officer Lang and there was a couple officers that even contacted me personally. It's just, I feel like the school sometimes ties their hands because like they said, the school said there was no incident reported of the fight. Even when I printed it, my, had my son's documents printed out, there was no incident of the fight. Only that he threatened to kill himself, not what led to all that. Right. So I'm tired of the secrecy. I want to be informed. I want other people to be informed. Are you sure you know what's going on with your child? I'm. You know, we need to hold the school accountable. If they promise us something, they need to protect our kids as we would. We should expect to get them back the same way we'd put them on the bus. I don't want to sit here and cry and worry. I don't want to promise him promises. You're going to be okay. Mom took care of it. And then the next day he comes home with a bruise. How do you feel as a parent? They look at you like, Mom, help me. You told me you were going to do something. So out of frustration, here I am doing something. But I want to make it clear that everyone in the law enforcement has been wonderful to me. They have Officer Lang up at the school has met with me. I have gone to the Sheriff's Department. They have talked with me. The people at the courthouse were amazing. I'm just having an issue with the school. So I don't want anyone thinking like it's the law enforcement. It's not. It, and it may, it's, there's wonderful teachers here. And there are wonderful staff here. 
but maybe not all of them. Or maybe some aren't following through. Or maybe not enough. Exactly. And it just has to stop. I, and the answer to everyone telling me, the answer everyone keeps telling me is pull them out. Why? It's not fair. My son has friends here. My son has gone to school with these kids for quite a few years now. Why make him suffer to homeschool him? Uh, it's time that we stand up and say no. My, son, my son's not disabled. He, he is abled. He just has disabilities that limit him in certain things. And I just think they need a voice. Come on, we got a poster. Well, I think I think the, your up. friends have come out. I think we've got the school noticed. Uh, they did respond, and I talked to uh, Miss Shepherd. Miss Shepherd, okay. And I talked to them on the phone, and they seem to be um, sincerely concerned about the issue, and have decided to, you know, not to start a program, to but to make sure the program is going to work because I can be honest with you when he was at Hilda J Barbara it was wonderful hey, he was he treated signs. immaculately I don't know if it's still the same principal there but she was wonderful we reported one incident we reported one incident to her and there was never another it was handled why can't that be like the, why can't that happen here Right. It's possible. It's possible. Middle school is one of those strange ages where the hormones come out in kids. And when they get together, they do crazy things that they normally probably wouldn't do individually. But that's one you really need to keep an eye on. You're exactly right, keep an eye on these children. Um, plans for the future? I know that you're going to be vigilant, vigilant to keep an eye on the, on the school system. But what's your, what's your, uh, what do you want to happen next? I, I pressed charges on the two people that were involved, the two students that were involved. I don't want to see them hurt by this. I want to see them helped. You want a lesson learned. Yes, exactly. I don't want a punishment. I want counseling or be a, or community service. Go work with someone that has it so they understand the daily struggle they go through. Maybe they go through will, enough. Maybe these children will end up being your son's best friends. I hope so. That would be <laughs> the goal. Sometimes that happens. That would be the goal because honestly, I don't want the children that did this bullied either. I want no child bullied. Not even the ones that bully my child. So please, do not have anyone do anything to these children because it's on social media and I've heard many people post their names. I don't want anyone bullied. No one deserves this. Not an able-bodied student and definitely not a disabled student. We'll keep an eye on this future. It looks like your crowd is growing here. People are, are interested in this. I think that they, everyone, it really affects everyone whether they're disabled or, or able-bodied. I mean, Kids are bullied, and I think that, like you say, it needs to uh, needs to come to an end. We need to learn to get along with with our peers, especially at this young age, because that sets the tone for the future. I believe it does, and I don't want to be sitting here, you know, two years down the road, and you're interviewing me because my son's killed himself, or you know, my son got bullied and shoved into the wall, and now he's on a life support because he's fragile. So. I just, I want to be proactive. I'm not going to be the next parent, and I don't want any parent to be the next parent. So let's stand up and stop this. We can all join together. Great. We really appreciate your time and, and I appreciate good luck on all you talking. Your, I sure, appreciate sure. every single person that came out here. Thank you. And I want to tell you guys please, don't bully anyone. Not the children that bullied my son. No one. No one deserves to be bullied. No one. True. I, Amen. I would, I don't even want, I press charges, but I don't want them sitting or doing any kind of time or getting, I want them to just get counseling or maybe with a disability, have them, you know, volunteer somewhere with someone disabled so they understand the struggle. Maybe they're just not aware. So I want no child bullied. Not even the ones that are bullying my child. No one be being bullied is acceptable. No one. And we have to stand up. We have to protect our kids. And we can only do it if we come together. Yeah, mommy. Very true.
Great. I love it, Bailey. <laughs> love it. Yeah. We're, we're here with uh, Alan Fox. Alan's with the Warren County Public School System. Uh, your comments on this uh, protest this morning? We are 100% with the, the families and with the parents and with the students. We want our students to be safe. We want them to feel safe and we want them to be educated. So we have the exact same goals as, the, as they do. So we support what they're doing. We don't want anyone to be bullied. It's, it's a bad, bad thing. So we support them. Right. I noticed the letter was sent out. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there some new programs or just trying to reinforce programs we already have? We want to reinforce the programs we already have. We have preventative programs and we have programs for children that are, are experiencing difficulties. So we have multi tiers of programs to help our kids. Yeah. Good. Good. Really appreciate you. Talk to us and we'll check back with you uh, and see how things are going. Thank you. Thank you for supporting them today. Right. Thank you.